if you are applying for the Canadian study permit from any of these countries, you need to give a medical exam by a licensed medical practitioner. This test is in place just to make sure that you are fit enough and that you are not carrying any harmful or transmissible disease that could pose a threat to the Canadian population. You can find the list of countries that require this medical test by using the link given in the description below. India falls in that list so I had to appear for this medical test. So when do we need to take this medical exam? You can take the medical exam either before or after the visa application. Just keep in mind that your visa application will be considered complete after you have given your medical test. So if you don't take the medical exam upfront and file your visa application, once they start processing it and realize that you haven't given your medical test yet, you'll be given a 30 day window to do so. And during this period, your visa application will stay dormant. So I would recommend you uh, to take the, this medical exam before you apply for your study permit. That way, medical won't create a bottleneck in the visa process. By the way, if you're finding value out of this video, kindly press the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps my videos reach more people and motivates me to keep making videos like this. Once you've decided to appear for a medical exam, you need to book an appointment at an approved medical center. You can find the list of medical centers uh, in your country that are approved by the Government of Canada using the link provided in the description below. Do keep in mind that the number of medical centers vary from place to place. In my case, the process of getting my medical done was really hectic because there's only one medical center in the entire northeastern part of India which is where I live and uh, this center is available in Kolkata uh, by the name Pulse Diagnostics. It is really small and it gets too crowded. Also, since I'm not originally from Kolkata, I had to travel and stay there for a day just for this one hour medical exam. On the other hand, places like Delhi, Chandigarh and Chennai have multiple uh, medical centers. So if you're living in those parts of India, then you should have a much better experience than me. Long story short, you just need to call the medical center uh, to book an appointment. Now, what documents do we need to carry to the medical center? Once you book an appointment, they'll tell you what documents you need to carry to the medical center. Usually, the list includes uh, your original passport. So you need to carry your current original passport. Uh, if you have multiple passports that are expired, like me, then you don't have to carry them. You just need your current uh, unexpired passport. Uh, the next document is uh, the Xerox of front and back page of your passport. Uh, the third document is uh, one passport size photograph. The next document is the printout of the admission letter from the university uh, and uh, the printout of the vaccination certificate. Also, if you have any ongoing or previous medical reports, then you need to carry them to the medical center. And that is pretty much all of the documents that I was asked to bring uh, for my medical examination. Some medical centers also require a prior rapid antigen test, also known as COVID test, but it was not required for my medical center. Now I'll tell you all of the tests that I went through during my medical examination. So it started with a chest x-ray followed by blood test and urine test. All three of these are self-explanatory and I don't need to discuss this here. Uh, after this, I had a doctor examination, which is something to talk about. During the doctor examination, I was asked questions about my previous medical conditions, including things like uh, if I need a special care for something or if uh, I've previously caught some uh, transmissible disease like cholera or tuberculosis. Apart from that, uh, whether or not I've had any fractures or surgeries. So my answer for all of these were no, because I haven't. So the doctor was kind of suspicious. So he asked me uh, whether or not I'm being truthful. So I told him I'm honest. And he also said that uh, if I'm not honest and later uh, they find out that I've been lying, then it might cause a problem. So I told that uh, you don't have to worry. Uh, I'm telling the truth. After that, he asked me about my eyesight and the power of my glasses. Next, he asked me to remove my track pants and lie on the bed. Uh, he started pressing my muscles to check for lumps and he also uh, poked my belly uh, really hard, uh, which actually freaked me out. But everything went fine. It was just a two to three minute process. And after that, I was asked to go back. So the entire medical process hardly takes 10 to 15 minutes. But if the medical center is crowded, then it could take a while. Usually, the medical report is produced the same day in the evening, 
but due to some server issues they said that they will email it to us within two days so i can't show it to you because i don't know what it looks like but it has to be attached uh, in the study permit application as an additional document because i've taken an upfront medical exam that's all about medical exams two weeks ago i made a video on education loans where i shared how i approached multiple banks for the loan as well as gave some tips to ensure that you're in a position to negotiate and get the best deals just an update on that i got my final quote from hdfc credula for 35 lakhs at an interest of 10.5 percent and 0.5 percent processing fee so i've paid the processing fee and got my sanction letter so i'm clear with the education loan part that's it for today thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one